guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am doing a 31 week pregnancy bump date. I'm 31 weeks and five days pregnant and um, I have a little bit of an update. Nothing crazy, but I did have a doctor's appointment yesterday and I did not vlog it. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of give an update of how baby Minnow is doing, how I'm doing and how so far our week has been since the last update. First things first that I did not want to forget to mention is I've been reading my hypnobreathing book more now. Um, I am probably about halfway in and I'm getting to the parts where um, it talks to you about like the different uh, techniques of breathing and relaxation. Relaxation techniques, that's where I'm at right now. And again, if uh, you guys have not heard me mention before, I did have a natural home birth um, with my second son, Logan, here at home. And I had researched, you know, looked into a lot of things to help me prepare for a natural, unmedicated home birth. And one of them was reading this book, which actually really did come in handy. It helped me just kind of uh, relax better and not stress out so much. And just the breathing techniques that I didn't know with my first pregnancy when I went into labor with my first one. And so I've been reading this one again this time just to get Get back familiar with it so for me it was very beneficial um, it actually did help me learn some breathing like I said some stress relieving techniques and overall in the end I mean Logan was I didn't even know I was that far dilated when she was like you're like at us I think she was she said I was like at eight I think like a seven or eight and I was like I don't feel like I'm that far like I didn't even feel that I was as far as I was because it didn't even feel as intense as when I went into the hospital with Gavin and I was admitted at like four centimeters and at home being at like seven eight centimeters and I was like I guess I was in denial <laughs> but a lot of it is because I had learned how to breathe through my contractions through my surges and I was able to uh, handle them and not freak out and not tense up and fight it. It did hurt, but um, in the end, it was a really nice experience. So anyways, I can talk about this forever because it's just, I really, really do like this. So one thing that I've been noticing the last couple, maybe like four or five days now, is that I have had some slight swelling. I guess in the second trimester is usually when you start to have some type of like swelling in your feet or your hands or your face. Um, but I hadn't had any up until a couple days ago. I started noticing that my feet, they're not looking like swollen solely but I just feel like they look a little bit rounder like there's more roundness to them um and when I went to the doctor she said you know yeah you look your feet look a little bit swollen but not like not like a lot um and I also noticed it just a little bit on my hands not a lot again and I can actually still uh put on and take off my ring like okay I'm struggling now <laughs> my hands are actually a little dry but um I, it's, it's still not an issue and so because of that slight swelling when I went to the doctors and they checked my uh, weight I had gained four pounds since my last appointment two weeks ago so now I am at 162 I was kind of like disappointed because I was hoping to just stay on track with like a pound a week and so I gained four pounds in two weeks so two pounds a week and she asked me like oh are you starting to swell and I said I've noticed that I have and she said it's probably you're starting to retain more water so um, she's not worried about it she said I still look great my feet look fine like they're she's not concerned about it but um, just to keep drinking water elevate my feet do all that good stuff so I have a painful bladder <laughs> like my bladder like the baby is always on my bladder especially at nighttime when I'm like trying to fall asleep and like I need to move or something like roll over to the other side like I feel like the baby just wants to lay on my bladder so it makes it really uncomfortable when I'm shifting sides. Um, and then in the middle of the night if I have to like get up to pee like it just kind of is starting to hurt for me to get off the couch or get off the bed. It feels like my bladder is going to explode any second. However, during the day when I feel like that, like my bladder is full, it's getting annoying because I feel like I have to pee every five minutes and every five minutes like it's barely anything. It's barely like a little trinkle and so I'm just like, ah, oh, what's the urgency? Why do you, why do I feel like I have to pee really, really bad and yet it's like really nothing. So that's happening. <laughs> At my doctor's appointment too, my blood pressure was great. Again, it was 110 over 60. My fundal measures, 33 centimeters. I keep forgetting it. Yeah, it is centimeters. It's not inches. Maybe I should just do it myself. All right, I grabbed a measuring tape. Let's see. I think it's centimeters. Let's see if I can get you guys to go down a little bit. I should probably be laying down for it, but just so that I can get an idea. And like somewhere like on the top of your pelvic bone. 
Okay, yeah, so it is centimeters. So there's the 33 mark right there. The baby is still in a head down position uh, when she heard the baby's heartbeat, which was um, 140, I believe. She said she can hear it better when the back is pointing to her, so which made it sound like the baby was like, um, like this is the back of the baby. So the back is here and the baby was laying like sideways because I tell her a lot that I feel like little uh, kind of like fingers over here and up here. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm doing it the wrong way. So like this. Um, over here I feel kicks and then over here I feel fingers. So she thinks the baby is laying like in this position and the back was over here. So, so good to know that the baby is still in a head down position, um, which like I said before, the baby can still turn over, um, but hopefully not. One of the things that we started uh, looking into is um, getting our stuff ready, like our finances um, in line, like we're checking in with our insurance to see what, you know, we're gonna have to pay with the hospital and the doctor fees. I also called to get my free uh, breast pump that is covered with my husband's insurance. Um, so I actually need to finish that order today. Um, so I will be getting, hopefully, I think I am getting it. They said it's gonna process. So um, I should be getting a breast pump within a month I think they said, uh, which if I don't get one right away, I'm not too, too worried because I will be breastfeeding and I have breastfed before like my two other kids. So I think, oh, sorry guys, the clouds just came over the sun. So I think I'd be pretty good at, you know, getting the hang of it. If I don't have a pump right now, just doing all, you know, strictly breastfeeding, uh, which in the past I have done like, you know, breastfeeding and then just pump out whatever the baby didn't take just to keep my supply up. And even if the pump doesn't come in by the time that the baby comes, I still have my pump from... Gavin and Logan, I have an Avent, is it Avent? Yeah, I think it's an Avent brand uh, pump. It still works, um, so I can always just use that as backup until my new one comes in. And I think that's pretty much it with this past week. I'm gonna try to do my bump dates now weekly. I did have a suggestion from one of you guys, so thank you so much for that. I feel like it's gonna come to an end really, really fast, and I would like to just update a little bit more, because I feel like if I do every other week, it's you really only get like three more updates. If you guys have any questions, any comments, anything you want to share with me, please leave in the comments below. And um, with that being said, I'm going to show you guys my 31 and a half ish, I guess, week uh, baby bump. So there is the front, the side. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you guys at the next one. Ciao.